All right, three, two, one. Okay, what's going on, everybody? This is TGA. Still in central London, we are with Scorpion Audits and Dodgy Raj. And we're coming up to the Japanese Embassy. Oh, konnichiwa. <laughs> Arigato gozaimasu. <laughs> Japan. So, uh, yeah, another country that was uh, on the other side in the, <laughs> in the Second World War. The land of the rising sun. Indeed it is. So as you can see, there's the Japanese flag up there. Uh, it's raining just a little bit. It's spitting a little bit. No. I may have to pull up the umbrella again. Not sure yet. This is Japan, Embassy of Japan. I'm big in Japan. Oh, I'm big in Japan. Embassy of Japan. So there's the entrance. Uh, this is actually a sign here, no photography. ID checks in progress. Caution, slippery surface. There's the guy. He's coming out. We don't, we don't take camera photo here. No, no, no. no, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. We don't do them, say, no? Photo, camera at the front, no? No, yes. Sorry? I'm not in there. No, we don't take camera. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Mate. Yeah? We're out in a public space. No, here. we can't take it. That's what I'm saying. Why not? Why, Why are you doing? Not? Why can't we take it? Yeah? It's Japanese embassy. Why can't we take photos? Are you security? Total security. Have you got your SIA badge on? We don't take camera take here. Why? Why? Why are you getting so aggressive for? We don't, don't take camera it. here. That's what I'm saying. Don't care. Calm down. Calm yeah, down. that's what I'm saying. We're so aggressive. What do you think you're What's the problem? Well, you shouting. No, you're shouting shouting to members of the public like that, is it? Lady, do you want to go in? No, I don't want to be cute. No, no, I won't film you. We'll film you. We'll film, you. We'll film this guy, though. We'll film the uh, counselling. Eddie, I'm trying to tell them we're not taking camera here. They don't listen. They don't do any papers. They say they are not in my history. It's the Embassy of Japan. Oh, Japanese gentleman coming down. Who's the figure in the shirt? I know, there's no need of it, is there? Japanese guy going in. <laughs> So I, really that attitude, the, uh, we I know, it's crazy. The, uh, it's Japanese yeah, diplomat. Totally I know, he's uh, so aggressive. No, uh, SIA license on display. So uh, a little bad, a little uh, report might go into the SIA. Definitely. I have actually uh, emailed the SIA recently asking them for instructions whether they would be to notify them of anything. But what it is on the filming? Oh, okay, right. Well, I'm not convinced that you're a security guard. Because you've got no what it is on the filming? Well, I'm not telling you, you've just been shouting at us. Why Sorry? Should, why should we be reasonable with you and tell you why if you're going to come out with an aggressive attitude shouting at us? And where's your SIA license? If you were a bit more polite about it, we might have told you. Yeah, just to Where's your SIA license? Oh, straight away aggression at the Japanese embassy. Absolutely crazy, man. <laughs> Can you believe it? Straight there's, a, there's a rear entrance as well, so it's a rear entrance. Oh yeah, cultural centre. Cultural centre, so I assume you can visit. Mm. Definitely. There's a free exhibition inside. Oh. Obviously you'd have to be granted by the, what is it, the yeah, Ministry of Foreign away. Affairs or something, Japanese Ministry of Foreign Affairs I think it is. You're happy? Hmm? You're happy? Yeah, wouldn't you apologise for the way you behave? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Please, please, yeah. I don't want that, please. Yeah. Okay, any, any particular reason why you're not meeting your obligations? And the under problem is, I said, please, we're not filming here. You yeah, don't we're, give on me a public, we're on a public I'm pavement, though. We don't, we don't record to that. It piece. doesn't matter, we're stood on That's a public pavement. I'm trying to tell you. I didn't, I didn't be rude to you. I just you tell you. You raised your voice at us. What? You raised your voice at us. That's the voice of our work. I tried to tell you don't listen. That's what I'm saying. We don't film in here. Yeah, but we're out in a public street. Okay. Yeah, you can okay. Film in one one yeah. thing, yeah. Any reason why you're not meeting your license for application for security guard? Are you required to wear an SIA badge whilst on diplomatic premises? Because rather than engaging with members of the public, because you're, surely your duties are inside the Japanese embassy, not out, not in a, in a public space. Yeah, so you should have your SIA license on display. Any particular reason why you haven't got it on display? 
It's all crazy. Yeah, that was quick. So, uh, the fun is then, that's quick, well, again. Absolutely mental. Absolutely mental. So we've got some uh, security guard who's not even Japanese, who's working on the Japanese embassy. So the cuts the section uh, yeah. Oh, Japanese Excuse ladies. Me, there's someone else popping. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah, standing yeah, out of the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're not, we're not interested in you. We're standing out of the way, it's alright. Japanese people coming in and out. Yeah, definitely. Doesn't seem like they've got any Japanese uh, police though, does it? The moment, sorry, Jeff. Oh, we're going to go and check that out there, shall we? I don't think our police car's coming. The Yarmouth Police. We've got private security again. <laughs> the Japanese embassy. No, no, no. Yeah, I can imagine. Is that part of it? I'm going to come around the back. I don't have any nice back. Oh, it is. We're on the back of the Japanese embassy now. There is a lot of construction work going on. This is just on the edge of Mayfair. So, please use the main entrance 105 Piccadilly. Got some uh, construction workers here. Is that part of the side there? You guys know access. Sorry? No, no, access. Yarmouth Yarmouth that's, that's the site, isn't it? Is this not Yarmouth? Because it's over on the back there. It's over on the back there. Yeah, this is a public road, yeah? It's a public road, there's double yellows on it. Ah, uh, diplomatic cars, look. Diplomatic Reg. Japanese diplomatic car, look. Yeah, look, it's got the D on it, look. Japanese diplomatic cars. Embassy staff only. Oh. Yeah, this one seems to be getting ready to go out. Embassy of Japan, back of it. You're picking up a diplomat, fella. <laughs> picking up a Japanese, the Japanese ambassador, is it? <laughs> Huge embassy, though, look at the size of it. Crazy. Oh shit. Public road down there. <laughs> so we are Japanese embassy folks. Diplomatic cars around the back. Private security being very rude again.
So yeah, we're coming back around to the front now. Oh, the National Police Agency don't seem to be there. Back around the front entrance, the Japanese Embassy. Yeah. There he is. So, no, stay out in front of the place. It's a beautiful building inside, though, isn't it? Hiya. Uh, may I ask, uh, why are you filming the videos? Why? Uh, it's interesting. Sorry? Just making a video uh, about the Japanese yeah. embassy. Okay, so any purpose or something? Yeah, it's what, like... we, yeah, it's what we do. We do a public information video about security guards that don't wear SRA licenses in embassies when they are doing license for activity. I mean, any, that's... Any, any particular reason why you're breaching section 9.1 of the Private Security Act? That's a, that's a question. Whilst you're on diplomatic premises, because it's the property of another country, are you still subject to SIA regulations whilst you're inside an embassy? Yep, I would do that. So, so you, yeah. are, you are subject to SIA yeah. regulations. Okay, right. so you need to have your badge on there. So, yes, yeah, so let's put your badge on, yeah? Outside the Chancery. Oh. Mm, chancery, yeah. The Chancery. Yeah, it's past the Chancery, right? Yeah. Japanese flag up there. It's one of the most simple flags in the world, the Japanese is. Just a white flag with a red dot on it. So I would, I would have called, I would have said that was a pass if it weren't, if it weren't for the first security guard who was so aggressive and had an attitude with us. I would have said oh, this is a pass. Um, yeah, no, and it's totally just yeah. unfortunate, really, isn't it? Yeah. So the security guard wasn't too bad. It was a bit more but because of the uh, the attitude of the first security guard, yeah. the code was like locked off into the second one as well from us. Mm, definitely. It's unfortunate. But at least he showed a little bit more professionalism. Slightly, yeah. yeah he came out more politely anyway. Yeah, other than is... the fact he wasn't really SRA last time. No, which is it's weird with diplomatic premises because how can the how can the police or anyone enforce it if they're working on a foreign country's building? Yeah, really. no, totally good. So it's it's a, it's a it's a bit of a grey area, isn't it? To be honest, but they said because they're still engaging in a licenseable activity within the United Kingdom, they're still subject to SRA regulations. Yeah. Yeah. He, he, he said yes, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. That's why I asked him. I said, because you're on a foreign country's building, are you still subject to the SIA requirements? But he's contracted security. He doesn't directly work for the Japanese. So, you know, he's still, uh, still dealing with members of the public. There's a lot of people going in, yeah. The exhibition space. There's a lot of people going in, yeah. The exhibition space. So, No, 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 no parliamentary and diplomatic protection police have turned up at all. Thankfully, they haven't pressed the panic button then. <laughs> Does it look like? And I haven't seen um, Japanese, I would have thought, because of the size of the building, that they would have had national Japanese National Police Agency inside as well, but they clearly don't. They probably have, but they'd want to just leave it to secure. Yeah. I'm guessing they deal more with Japanese wanted criminals who are going and everything, so and get them extradited. So basically that's been the Japanese Embassy. Don't think much more is going to happen here. Yeah, so thank you everybody for watching. If you enjoy this video make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe. Also make sure to subscribe to Scorpion Audits and hit that bell button to stay notified on future uploads. See you all in the next one. TGA out.